Hey ihr Lieben, welcome back to another episode of The Real Life. The Real Life is an episode that I'm making right now about my life, our life, my family's life, where I just vlog basically my days and take you with me into the journey of finding out what God has for us right now. I'm Yeshua, YeshuaBoyton.com and on this channel I'm making videos about helping you grow in faith experience the gospel and walk it out daily. If you have followed me in the last two vlogs, I'll uh, link them up right here. If you haven't watched them already, you know that we spent a short holiday in Amelia Island in Northeast Florida, which was awesome. And as you hear already, it was, it's over now. Because today we basically had our travel day back. In the beginning of the day, we went to the beach we met up with Priscilla's parents and some other family members. We ate a 36 ounce steak, which was bigger than my hand. And yes, we had leftovers. <laughs> and the whole day was basically just family day, pure family day. Not very optimal to vlog, but that's okay. But I want to take this chance in this vlog basically to give you a message. I watched a video the other day that really made me think about persecution. I will link this video up here right now and I will link it in the end of this video so I really encourage you to watch it. It's a testimony about a Danish man who is a Christian who walks in the power and the anointing of God, signs wonders and miracles happening wherever he goes as far as I know. However, because of persecution in a European, in Denmark, right, in a European country, he applied for asylum here in America. Incredible testimony, and that really made me think. We live in an age where it's almost frowned upon, or actually it is frowned upon, when you call yourself a Christian. Of course, not in Christian circles and in your Christian bubble, but outside of that in the world. Like if you're against gay marriage or if you're against sex before marriage or you know just to take some examples you know people cry out loud and you know call for equality and freedom of their personality and whatnot. I think it will only get worse. <laughs> but like I said this video really made me think and reminded me of this verse. Jesus says here in Luke 9 verse 26 for whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his glory. This verse really spoke to me because I believe we are and coming more and more into an age where we as Christians will be challenged in this verse or will go through this verse if that makes sense. I believe that God will put us in situations where, we'll, where we will have to make a stand either for or against Jesus. I believe that persecution is coming to the West. I have been saying that for years actually. People always kind of put it off because in the West we had just have this freedom of speech. But we see it already on platforms, online platforms where freedom of speech is being more and more regulated. And if you watch that video I was mentioning, I believe it will go beyond that, where it's just freedom of speech, but where actually laws will be put in place where Christians will be dramatically limited in their rights. And no, I'm not portraying Christians as victims per se. I can see a trend in society where it's openly tolerated and accepted that Christians are being persecuted, laughed at, where their rights are being narrowed down and where they are not allowed to live out their faith as Jesus calls us to. When you watch the video you might know a little bit better what I mean but this Danish guy for example he talked about not even being allowed to pray for people's deliverance where by law it is called mental violence when you basically do deliverance, cast out demons out of people. And that's, that's a wow. My point is be prepared. I, my point is there's persecution coming and get ready. We Christians have to get ready. There's no time for playing around anymore. And I know I'm saying that to myself as well. But I just want to encourage you to seek God 
pursue him with all your heart and don't be ashamed of Jesus or his word both him Jesus who is the word and his spoken word and his written word will never change he was is and will always be the same and he is with you wherever you go and he promised in his word that when we are put in front of judges and officials that his Holy Spirit will give us the words to speak so what am I saying is be prepared don't be fearful this is not a message of ah you know be scared or whatever no be bold don't be ashamed for the gospel because it's powerful it has the power to change people to loosen shackles to break chains and to bring people into deliverance and freedom and salvation eternal life so I just encourage you to stand firm, trust in Jesus. I know this certain video was a little bit talky, but I just wanted to bless you. Love you guys. See you in the next video.